It was one of these typical Swiss mornings. The clouds were glued to the sky now for weeks. No clear sky, no shooting in sight. So the only thing that could cheer me up is go to my mound, touch it slightly and look at its beauty. All this red, so beautiful. And I enjoyed it and it really cheered up my heart until I saw it. There was this stain, this blue stain in the middle of all this red. Something had to happen. I had to get rid of it. But how? Who could help? I only knew one person. Filippo was his name. Filippo immediately went into action and climbed the Dolomites to came to Switzerland and help me. And he brought with him this special rescue package, which will forever erase the blue. Hey, this is Fear Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. So good to meet you on and thanks for watching my channel. So here is the rescue pack. And obviously I did not order the Eagle 5 only because it's red. Or did I? No, any joking beside. Obviously it's nice that it's red, fits nicely to a mount and it is a beautiful piece. But that's not the main reason. Before we start with the unboxing, let's have a look at why this is such a great device. So what did I have until now? Until now I had on one side a Miele Quieter mini PC on which I run Nina. And on the other side I had a Pegasus power box for the power distribution. So did it work? Yes. Was it perfect? No. There were some issues I had with it, for example with the Pegasus power box, the contacts were kind of loose. So when the scopes loot, sometimes <laughs> the power would just turn off. And then either the camera did not work anymore or the PC had to be restarted. So from a contact point of view, this was definitely not optimal. Also you had two different devices, devices not really made to be fixed on a rig. So I used some Velcro to plug them somewhere and then there was a balancing issue. And then with the meal and quieter, just for purely Nina, obviously works great like a charm. But for example, doing EEA with Pixie inside combined with Nina, that was already too much for it and they crashed. And then while it might look as a luxury issue, the intro is not a complete joke. When we look at it at the moment, practically all the astro environment is red. And you might find that cool, you might find that boring, that's a personal choice. And so while Pegasus Astro might find it cool that everybody sees their equipment, given that it's blue, it looks completely different and unique, from a customer side, it's actually more disturbing. And it really looks odd having this light blue stuff on an otherwise fully red rig. And so while this was definitely not the main reason, it definitely helped to convince me. So, but now let's really look at the Eagle 5, which is by the way, brand new. It really just was announced and came out. And Filippo from Prima Lucha Lab, he's really probably, I don't know, the master in making cool videos, at least in the area of astrophotography. And when I saw the video, I just kind of went to the website and ordered it. It was just like, yeah, I need to have this. So what are the advantages? First, less cables. You do not need power cables for the power box and the computer separately. You only need one. You do not need a connection between the power box and the computer. So there's at least about three to four cables which are gonna go. Then obviously it's only one device, not two. And this is really made for being installed on a rig. And you actually install it right below the scope or below the guide scope. And you will see that once I installed it because there's some features which actually go with that. Next, obviously, this is an Intel i5 processor. This is like a, a desktop computer. While the Miele Quieter is just a small Intel Celeron um, processor, which is made for mobile devices. So this is a completely different class of computer. 
And here I can run PixInsight, Stellarium, whatever I want. It will run full speed. And you might wonder, do I really need that? And I wasn't even really aware of that, how long Nina took to plate solve, for example. It was just like, yeah, this, this takes a while. But it took that long because of the low processor power of the Melee. And with this one, it will go much faster. So this all will really help speeding up the process and will give me more time shooting. Then obviously, and you will see that in the unboxing, the quality is not even comparable. This is just a leak on its own. So there's no loose contact possible anymore. I think that's just cool. And then on top of that, it obviously has a lot of features which neither the quieter nor the Pegasus Powerbox had. For example, it has a sky sensor which actually in the direction of the scope monitors the skies. I can tell you when clouds are coming up. It has really external GPS and Wi-Fi antennas and it can build its own hotspot. So you do not even need Wi-Fi where you are. You can be in the remote and with whatever device you can build up a connection with the Eagle. The new Eagle also has an inclinometer, so it actually will tell you the tilt of the Eagle so that you know if the telescope or better the mount is actually really reliable telling you where it should go. It has a motion detector, so if somebody at an astro party actually runs into your rig, you immediately know something's wrong, you can go there. Or if there's too much wind, for example. And obviously it has tons of ports. It has 10 USB ports, it has two HDMI ports, it has Ethernet ports, and three ports for two heaters. So you can plug in there whatever you need, how complex your rig is. And also really cool in the Eagle 5, the memory, the SSD, it's all industrial grade, so that you can actually go practically as low from a temperature as you want, it's still working. So here in the back, actually, on the screen, you already see it working. That's how the user interface looks like. This is what pops up when you actually start up the Eagle. And it gives you an idea of all the data that you can actually retrieve. And then also, by ASCOM, transfer to applications like Nina. Or, if you prefer, the Eagle even comes with its own software you can use to shoot astrophotography. So what we will do now, we will move the time a little bit back and I will show you the full unboxing. And then in the next video, I will show you how I installed it on my mount, how all the software is working, so a full review of the capabilities in reality. With that, let's put on the time machine. Okay, it's unboxing time. So as usual, I'm armed with my cutter. But as a special guest today, I invited my buzzard because he always wanted to see a real eagle. By the way, I inherited it from my father. He inherited it from his father. So it's at least a hundred years old. So, but this here, this is not a hundred years old. This is brand new. And so I'm really thrilled to see what's in here. This is probably what fits best to a gadget freak like me. This is. This is really exciting. And just to make it a little bit more complete, I also ordered the Echo, the environmental computerized controller. You will have a look at that too. And two cables. And why we actually need special cables, we will also cover that later. But let's start with the really the brand new stuff, the Eagle 5. What do you think about that? He's also really excited. Let's get going. I arm my cutter and let's just get rid of the plastic. And you know, prominently on the package, the Italian flag. I don't know, I'm really getting into Italy. I was just in Italy visiting Napoli and the Amalfi Coast, Positano was beautiful. I have my beautiful Avalon mount and now something more from Italy. So, but let's not talk anymore. Let's open up this thing. 
and some car park. Not interesting. Now we get, wow. This is, this is crazy. Wow. Look at that. This is an amazing piece. Wow. And you know, I can just repeat what I said about my Avalon mount. Here a tank could drive over it. This is, this is massive. Compared to my quieter, this was like a toy and this is, this is serious stuff. Wow. Let's get the plastic going. And you know, they have these quality control sheets with it. And here I actually believe that this is not just <laughs> some marketing material, but that these controls really have been done. So and here you also see now why we actually need special cables, because these are also special ports. These are the eight amps and these are the three amps and also the input port. And why they actually are like that, why you have to screw them on is that they actually keep on when you put them on. There's no wiggle room. There's no way that they can fall off. And there's also no way that they can come water in it. So we have two 8 amps, two 3 amps. We have here the sky sensor. Here is the input 12 volt. Then we have here the four USB ports. Here another two faster USB ports. Here's actually the sign that it's an i5 processor. Here we will install in a moment the Wi-Fi antennas. Here we have two more USB ports. We have two USB 3 slash Thunderbolt uh, ports. We have two HDMI ports, Ethernet, three ports for the dual shield and the GPS antenna. And this is the on off and the reset button down here. So let's get going and install this stuff. So here we have the GPS antenna. And the screws on like this. Then we have here a million of screws. And they have different lengths so that you don't actually destroy it. <laughs> so we'll look at that later. Then this is the cable with the 12 volt plug for the car. And here we have the two Wi Fi antennas. Then this is actually empty, this box. Let's put it away. So we put them on. And you know, there's also that with these antennas, you can be sure that there's no connectivity issues at all. So let's put this for a moment away. Let's have a look at the Echo. That's compared to <laughs> this one really is cute, actually. It's small, but again, even here a tank could drive over it. This is, this is solid metal. And there's a little hole there to install it. And then below here, there's actually the sensors and the connection cable. So the echo actually measures the temperature, the humidity and the pressure. And so it's perfect actually to automatically steer your two heaters. And the cool part is, you might wonder why does it actually have so many connectors here? You can actually connect up to three temperature sensors, one for each dew heater, because one telescope might be lower than the other and might through that actually have a lower temperature or a higher one. And so you can measure the temperatures really there where it actually heats to ensure that each dew heater gets appropriate amount of electricity. And once you connect it actually to the Eagle, you do not even need specialized softwares. It automatically recognizes it and will use it to actually steer the dew heaters. And I mean also here, if you look at that, these are solid temperature sensors. These are no toys. Even the cables, they're extremely sturdy. And even this connector here, it's metal. There's no plastic. 
this is just really high quality. And the same thing actually here with these connection cables, they're heavy. And this metal ring here feels super solid. So I'm absolutely sure there's no problem anymore that something could wiggle, that the electricity could break off. If this thing is in here, you will have electricity forever, at least that there's some in the input. So I will now have to, first of all, to install everything in here, Nina, PhD, and I will also put Stellarium, Pix inside, and so on it, because you can, it has enough power, and that's really the cool part. And afterwards, I will actually install it in my rig. And also here, the cool part of the Avalon is that I can actually install it in the lower part. And through that, I, it acts as a counterweight. So it doesn't make my rig heavier. And it will obviously look fabulous. And that's also really the cool part here that it really belongs on the rig. Because in that it actually has the same direction as the scope, the eye here will see exactly the same sky as the telescope and report the sky quality of this part of the sky. It will also show you exactly the angle the telescope is as to give you a reconfirmation that with the mount everything is okay and the mount tells you the truth. And a motion sensor inside will alarm you if the mount was touched, if there's too much wind. So that you can actually fix that or stop the process. And I'm really thrilled to see that now all coming to life. And in a follow up video, I will show you that how you can use all that um, in your regular process, how it makes your life easier. Okay, and that was the unboxing. I hope that was interesting to you. And I hope you are thrilled as I am to see how the Eagle 5 will actually work on my rig and I will test this now and then there will be the new video. And I would also like to thank this moment my amazing Patreon community. Without them videos like this will be absolutely not possible. And if you would like to support me please have a look at the Patreon link in the description below. For a price of a coffee you can really support this channel and get a lot of benefits in exchange. See you next time and clear skies.